Okay, this tutorial is for making a gradient brush for blending your background into your floor. Um, first off, I have a full resolution image here, which is too large. Your brush can only be up to 2,500 pixels wide. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go into image, image size, pixels, 2500 on the long side and then I'll hit OK. Now obviously you won't be resizing your image. This is just for the purpose of making the brush. Um, once you have your brush made you can put your image back to the normal size and then enlarge your brush to make it work on your image. But for now we have to have the image at 2500 pixels to make the brush. And I just used an image with a floor um, pretty much in the standard spot that it normally would be with any picture. So then my brush will uh, gradiate for uh, an average size background. So what I'm going to do is come over here and hit New Layer. And then I'm going to grab my gradient. And I have it set on black and I have the other color transparent so we're only going to have black. Black is on top and we are going to pull it from just underneath the horizon line. You hold shift while you pull down and I'm going to pull it just below the bottom of the picture and let go. And You can see that that gradiated pretty nicely. After that I am going to turn off my background layer, go to edit, define brush preset and I will call this, great, uh, how about background fade, background fade sounds good. Okay, all right so now I'm going to turn that off, turn my image back on, just so we can try it out. I'm going to hit my brush tool, and you can see my new brush has automatically shown up in my brush palette here. So then the next step is to just, um, we're going to make another new layer to brush this uh, fade onto, and we're going to hold the Alt key to select a color from around the floor that you think will fade nicely. I'm going to hit a nice light color on the floor here and then I will line this up. Right now it's lined up pretty perfectly for what I need for my image because I made it on this image. Now you can line it up whatever way you need it to uh, per specific image. Alright so I'm going to lay it on there and just click once add a layer mask. I'm going to grab a soft round brush um, just because I'm going to do a quick cleanup. You might want to have a harder brush to clean this up right. But I'm just going to use a soft round brush to make it quick. And there we go. You can see a little bit of my edges because I'm doing this quickly but obviously you would take more time and care to keep those edges nice and clean when you're doing it yourself for your image. But it really is that simple. Now you have a background fade and you can make it any color you want. We can do it again. We'll do a different color. So say we wanted to do it red. There we go. We'll go down here, click our gradient, and come over here. And we'll make the background red. Again, mask it, soft round brush. This one's going to be pretty obvious where the edges are because obviously the red does not blend well with the other colors. But just to show you how easy it is to sh uh, change the colors of your background fade, I just wanted to do it like this. So there you go. Obviously you wouldn't do that, but this one worked really well. And I hope that that was 
easy and simple to follow. And if you have any questions, just let me know.